Hi everybody, Pedro. Today it's all about Beretta, the 680 series guns that you guys got to know. So let's talk shotguns. Hi everybody, so let's take a look at the Beretta 680 series guns. These guns have been on for years and years and years. You had the 680, 682, 682 Gold, the Sporting, variations of the 680 series, okay? You, today, you have the 686 Silver Pigeon 1. You have the 687 Silver Pigeon 3. You have the 687 Silver Pigeon 5. You have the 687 EELL or double double -L, L Diamond Pigeon. And you have the 687 EELL or double double L Classic. All right, we're going to go through all those five models and you're going to understand what's the difference between all of them. What are the difference between all the 680 series guns? So, first, Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon 1. I got one right here. Let's take a look at it. It is a 680 series receiver, okay? Where we have, let's take this apart, where we have a top locking bolt in sort of a U-shaped locking bolt, okay? It is basically like this and a U-shape where it goes inside the receiver and the two parts that actually come out or these two pins right here that will fit directly into the little holes on the top of the barrel right there or basically into the recoil shoulder of the gun on the silver pigeon one i mean i think everybody heard of a 686 silver pigeon one you have two variations of that gun you have the field variation and you have the sporting clays variation what's the difference well same barrels same receiver same everything the differences between a field silver pigeon one and a sporting silver pigeon one are going to be very subtle first the stock on a field gun and the rib on the barrel of the field gun are going to be smaller what do i mean by that the dimensions are going to be a little bit different on a field gun the grip sometimes will be a little bit more relaxed and smaller the wood is actually going to be actually smaller and the rib on top of the barrel also be thinner than what it is on a sporting clays gun without the meat bead. Why is that? Why is the stock small and the rib smaller? It's to remove weight. On clays, you're shooting more than you're carrying the gun around. So therefore, you want a heavier gun to help some of the recoil. Hunting guns, you're carrying it around more than you're shooting. So you want a lighter gun because you're not going to be shooting 100, 200 rounds unless you're going to Argentina and doing all that kind of stuff. But for the purpose of conversation, hunting guns are lighter because you're carrying more than you're shooting. Are the, is the receiver the same? Yes, it is the same. Now, one thing that will change on the receiver is the safety. On Beretta guns, the hunting side will have automatically automatic safeties. That means as soon as you shoot, you're gonna open the gun, the gun will engage the safety that automatically, as soon as it is, the top lever is pushed open, it will push the safety back and engage the safety for your safety. So you're out there shooting, you're hunting, you have your two shots, you just shot twice, and you're gonna reload your gun. But because you some most of the time you not get to shoot right away, as soon as you load, safety goes on. Now you can close your gun and your gun is safe. And then you have to put this disengage the safety in order to shoot again. So differences between the silver pigeon one field in sporting clays is stock different dimensions, thinner, the rib thinner without the meat bead and an automatic safety, all right? Next, we have the 687 Silver Pigeon 3. What's the difference between the 3 and the Silver Pigeon 1? Wood quality and engraving. Same receivers, same barrel, okay? Here's another Silver Pigeon 3. I'm going to stand up so you can see right next to the Silver Pigeon 1. The Silver Pigeon 1, you have a different engraving on the gun. And you have little qual better quality wood on the Silver Pigeon 3. Again, they are the Silver Pigeon 3, you have the ability to get either sporting clays, guns in 12 gauge 30 inch, or you have the ability to get the field gun. Okay. And after that, what do we go? We go to this silver, I'm um, sorry, the 687 Silver Pigeon 5. Now, 
Very important side note here on the Silver Pigeon 5. A years ago, Beretta already had a Silver Pigeon 5. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite Beretta guns because it was absolutely beautiful. It had a collar case hardened receiver with gold birds. That gun, every time I have one for sale here, it never lasts more than a day. People love it. I love that gun. It's one of the most, be most beautiful collar case hardening guns you ever see, especially with the gold birds on the side. They changed it a little bit now. Now you're gonna have what? A clay gun where the Silver Pigeon 5 before was a field gun. The clay gun now, again, what's the difference between a Silver Pigeon 1 and the Silver Pigeon 5 now? Is engraving and wood. On a Silver Pigeon 5, you get to choose if you want an adjustable comb or not, where on the Silver Pigeon 1 and Silver Pigeon 3, you don't. It's only a fixed stock. The Silver Pigeon 5 came out now as a true clay gun. So you have better quality wood. I would say that the Silver Pigeon 1 has standard grade wood. The Silver Pigeon 3 is going to have a grade 2 wood, where the Silver Pigeon 5 it has a pretty nice grade 3, 3.5 three piece of wood, okay? You have adjustable comb, you have scroll engraving on the receiver. Of course, it's a clay gun, rarely you're gonna have a game scene on a clay gun, so you're gonna have some scroll work. You do have the wider rib for, for clay shooting with a mid bead and different from the other 680 series that are out available now. You have extended chokes, where on the other previous two guns and the next two are gonna be flush chokes. Now, we have 686, 687 Silver Pigeon 3. You have hunting and a clay variation. 687 Silver Pigeon 5, you have only clay variation. Difference between the three of them, higher grade wood as you go up and different engraving on the receiver. Now we go to the two that are available on the field variation that you get the most amount of engraving and the best quality wood. Now, next step up is going to be the 687 EELL or double E double L Diamond Pigeon, which is this is it. You have now, you can see, much better quality wood. You are at a grade three and four wood. You get lots of engraving on the side plates. Again, it is side plated gun, not a side lock gun. We talked about this before. This gun here, you're gonna have all four gauges. You have combo guns, all for hunting. Beautiful engraving on both sides and bottom. Now, you have variations of these guns out there. Die the, the, every year, every other year, Pareto changes the engraving. The gun is still the same. Same parts as the Silver Pigeon 1, Silver Pigeon 3, Silver Pigeon 5. It is a 680 series gun. Higher grade wood. Higher, higher quality of engraving, okay? Next and last on the 680 series available, it is the 687 EELL or double E double L classic. You have even higher grade wood, as you can see, beautiful piece of wood, higher level of engraving. And also, as you change the gauge, and this gun, you have different engraving. So 28 gauge and 410, you're gonna have different birds, maybe a quail. On a 20 gauge or 12 gauge, you're gonna hunt larger birds, so you could have a pheasant on the side and so on. And so you have 687 WEL, Diamond Pigeon, or the Classic. Beretta had many variations of these guns over the years because this is a proven gun. Okay, it has been proven for years and years and years. 680, 682, you had the wide frame, now you have the standard frame, you had the Silver Pigeon 5 in, in color case hardening gold, you had the Silver Pigeon 4, which was black with gold, you have the Jubilee, the Beretta Jubilee was one, basically this gun here, but even higher grade engraving and higher grade wood, you know, some of those were hand engraved. So you have, this is a proven action. Here we did a Cole Gunsmithing, they did this Cole Custom, the Cole Special, where we purchased the receivers from Beretta and use a Beretta authorized engraver to create unique guns. By the time it left Beretta, it was already engraved. So 680 series guns. I think almost everybody has shot one or know somebody that has one or knows about it. 
it's a proven gun it's been around for a long time it's not going anywhere and you have lots of different options to choose from each person likes a style of gun a, a manufacturer and a different balance of gun try them all but this is a great platform for you to start or for you to upgrade as you go and the good thing is if you like the silver pigeon one and you want to stay on that line but you want to get prettier and better looking on your gun you have ways to go you have one two three four five variations of the same gun and grade hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you